what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A black sambo pick a nanny with the scary curl ponytail and a mixed audience, mostly white, fixed his stank mouth to say that, yes, there is racism, but do you realize how far we've come because white mothers and fathers are now allowing their daughters to marry black people? Oh, God. Where they get them from? Family. If I didn't see it myself and hear it myself, I wouldn't believe it. If somebody was just telling me that black people talk like this, that you could find a black person in the world, not just the U.S., because black people around the world, people around the world see what's going on in the U.S. Many people know U.S. history. They know the history of slavery in America. Even just at length, they know no sensible person could say that it wasn't a horrible experience that lingers on, the remnants show to this day. The aftershocks of slavery is felt to this day. No reasonable person, no person in their right mind no part-time reasonable person could look at what's going on in America in terms of race relations and say that it's all good or even it's mostly good. It's bad. That's the truth. This dude, he was attacking protesters and attack, attacking blacks, period. And he went after the youth. He was like, they're 19 years old. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they're doing. They ain't lived. I'm 52 years old. Nobody's oppressing me. Yes, that's ra is that racism? Yes, there's racism. But we got it a whole lot better than we used to have it. Why are you complaining? He was like, complaining? You're complaining. Why are you complaining? If you want to complain, go back to Africa. He said, go back to Africa. Why can't you complain and do something about it at the same time? It's called walking and chewing gum, right? See, I have a problem when people just complain and don't do anything. But if you complain and put some work in, that's cool because it's human nature to complain. If you just go to the grocery store and you mess around and get there a little bit too late and the door is shut on you, you're going to be like, oh, man, it's messed up, man. Oh, man, uh, I'm going to have to come back here tomorrow. I wanted to get that out of the way today. You know, people complain about uh, guests showing up late for their party or event, dinner, whatever. You complain about being overweight or being too little or, you know, people talking loud, your neighbors being loud. People complain all the time. That's human nature. But after you complain, do something about it. See, the problem with these piccaninnies they, like many of the people who actually are oppressing them, they don't mind the oppression. They just don't want you reminding them of it. They don't want to hear your mouth. It's like, yeah, I bust you in your lip and you ain't gonna do nothing about it. And if you complain, I'll just call you a whiner. I'll just tell you, to go back to Africa if you don't like it. It has always amazes me how people can say go back to Africa when 
the people that said don't really know where they're from. You dig what I'm saying? If everybody, whoever said go back to Africa had to go back to where they're from, they wouldn't know where to go because America is not their home. That is not where their lineage began. You dig what I'm saying? But let's get back to Uncle Ruckus. Oh, man. What happened to this guy? Good God. I mean, just seeing the Jerry Carroll ponytail was enough to let me know he was confused. That Jerry Carroll ponytail, that is oppressing him more than anything. What a sad case. Can you imagine what his mama and his daddy must think of him? Imagine what his kid. Ain't no way that can be your daddy and you'd be proud of that dude. If he's that broken, the dude said, I'm the happiest man in the world. I got me a beautiful white woman and she the most beautiful woman in the world. Listen, fam, I'm one of those people that I really don't care who people decide they want to be in a relationship with. I really don't. I don't have to be with them. I don't have to be responsible for them. I'm not responsible for their happiness. I ain't got to smell their morning breath. I ain't got to worry about them uh, dealing with my money. I ain't got to be responsible for the person at all. So, if a person can find happiness with a particular person that may not be in their particular group or whatever, hey, that's fine. But don't try to put your own people down. Don't do that. That's a bad look. When you do that, then that really tells me all I need to know about you. That lets me know really who you are. And the real reason why you're dating outside your race is because you think you're not good enough. It's an inferiority complex. That's what it is. And dating outside of your race is not going to help you escape your race. It's not going to help you escape your ethnicity for those who don't like people saying, uh, race and breaking up race like it's only one race and that's the human race. Dating outside of your ethnicity is not going to help you escape your ethnicity. You still are going to be exactly who you are and people are going to see you for exactly who you are. It doesn't matter how much money you get. doesn't matter where you move to. doesn't matter where you live. You're still going to be who you are. And ain't no amount of mixing it is going to change that. I don't know your name, but whoever you are, pick a nanny jigaboo. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?